What's going on guys? Benny Childs, founder of the Teach Me to Fish Effects Trading and Investing Community. Uh, back with another um, analysis update. Well, actually the first update for this week. Um, first thing, I uh, want to send out um, prayers and um, positive thoughts to those who were affected by Hurricane Debbie. Uh, I am here in Florida. Um, it just just missed us uh, where I'm at, and um, we're grateful. We're grateful. I'm very thankful. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and, and, and hop into this. All right. So uh, really quickly, you guys can see here where we're here on the futures ticker symbol ES1, uh, the S&P 500 futures, and you guys can see where two of our weekly draws on liquidity were hit right out of the gate um, so that that is a plus and then I have some more areas to where uh, the market could come down to for the week all right um, still open here at five thousand twenty eight dollars and twenty five cents this one okay um, I'm expecting ES1 to be a uh, bearish expanding uh, candle for the week so we'll see how that plays out now uh, Monday's candle did close below uh, Friday's low so I'm expecting today's candle which is Tuesday August 6 to expand to the downside now we do have a little bit going on here um, we have our current daily uh, dealing range starting at five thousand six hundred dollars and seventy five cents and it's currently ending at five thousand one hundred twenty dollars flat um, so we'll see if uh, this is actually the defined um, dealing range if it is I'm expecting price to come uh, at least to equally equilibrium at five thousand three hundred sixty dollars and fifty cents if not uh, possibly giving us a deeper uh, discounted price maybe we'll get OTE uh, we do have a daily volume imbalance uh, sitting here um, uh, as well as one here so I don't know if price if this is not the uh, defined dealing range on the daily price may come into this uh, volume imbalance here uh, that we have right here between uh, uh, Friday and third excuse me Friday and Monday's candle and then push lower so it may just come up to equilibrium and push lower to uh, my target here on the downside all right I'm expecting um, ticker number ES1 to get down to at least five thousand eleven dollars and seventy five cents uh, before we could possibly uh, go ahead and see uh, the markets begin to move uh, to the upside uh, reaching for uh, all-time highs okay all right we're going to move right along to ticker number nq1 the nasdaq 100 futures chart all right so in this chart um i do have uh the weekly well i'll, I'll say it like this one of our weekly draws on liquidity were hit at eighteen thousand three hundred eighty five dollars and seventy five cents all right this is the current dealing range that I have here on the daily starting at $19,717 flat ending at $17,351 flat if that is the defined dealing range our equilibrium is $18,534 flat and so we're looking for price to at least come up into this area before expanding to the downside now I do have um, a buy side draw on liquidity for the NASDAQ for the week sitting at $19,171.75 uh, so I am expecting for this to come up tap that and then head down lower towards um, the equilibrium of $16,406.50 uh, before we could possibly see this um, begin to head up uh, and reaching towards all-time highs now it could give us a deeper uh, retracement um, but again I always expect for price to at least get to equilibrium right before heading up because many times it could tap equilibrium 
give us that small discount and then head up okay so uh for today's candle though uh, we have monday's candle close below friday's candle so i'm expecting today to reach uh to expand to the downside to seventeen thousand three hundred fifty one dollars flat all right and we'll see how that it's going to work out all right moving right along to ticker symbol ym1 which is the dow jones uh futures chart uh you can see here where two of our weekly targets have been hit uh, thirty-eight thousand seven hundred ten dollars and thirty-nine thousand five hundred eighteen dollars. All right. As far as the daily goes, Monday's candle also closed below Friday's candle on this chart. So I'm expecting today, Tuesday, August sixth, to expand to the downside, reaching towards thirty-eight thousand five hundred and forty-one dollars, and we'll see how that plays out. Ultimately, I want to see. Um, YM1 get down to the equilibrium of $37,645 uh, before reaching up towards the upside. Now we do have some draws on liquidity, uh, some weekly draws on liquidity below equilibrium, putting us in discount, uh, which as a long-term trader, you know, we would love to see the market get down there so we can uh, buy in at a lower price, okay? Uh, last but not least, I'm going to do ticker symbol RTY1, which is the Russell 2000 uh, Futures Index. All right. Um, we already see where uh, we've had one, two weekly draws on liquidity hit here. We have already reached into the equilibrium of $2,004.09. All right, and we kind of got a positive response uh, from that, along as along with some daily volume imbalances uh, that were litigated, and then the price began to push up. So we'll keep uh, watching this. Uh, however, um, Monday's candle did close below Friday's candle, so I am uh, expecting today's candle to expand. Uh, to the downside, reaching towards $1,992.80, okay? All right, guys, so that is going to be it for the daily analysis update uh, for these uh, futures ticker symbols. Uh, you guys, let me know your thoughts, what you think, what are you looking at? And as always, guys, remember, uh, long-term investors, you know, we love to see bearish days because that just allows us to get in at more of a discount. So make sure you're dollar cost averaging on your bearish days as well as your bearish weeks or even your months. However you want to do it, uh, dollar cost average on uh, the bearishness of the market. All right. We're not trying to necessarily time lows as um, long term investors, uh, but we're wanting to get in. Um, at discount okay you want to get in at discount uh, my uh, day traders option traders uh, short-term uh, investors or just just traders period um, you just want to be on the right side of the market flow during the time that you trade uh, so look for your a plus setups only take your a plus setups uh, for your trades um, we can make money both ways, going up, going down, even in flat markets. If you know exactly uh, what you're doing, you can uh, yield out a profit. So, all right, guys, that is going to be it for me today. As always, I pray great health and wealth to you, as well as safe trading and investing. All right, guys, until next time, you guys be good. Talk to you later. Bye.